Hey guys, we have an exciting week approaching where we are going to be seeing essentially a loser's bracket where we have Big Ding Energy uh, going against Little Rubies. To show a little bit of how these teams played, we can see Big Ding Energy uh, closing out this game number one right here where they won against Not Safe for Work From Home. They are a very dominant team that played really, really well. Unfortunately, they did get, uh, they, they did end up losing two more games right after this one against Not Safe for Work From Home. They are going to be playing against Little Rubies, however, and Little Rubies, uh, when they played against Big Ding Energy initially, what happened is they kind of struggled. But there is something that you need to also remember is that they had a roll swap during that time. Little Rubies did really well with Lake Fu on healer, and then they swapped it in week two, and they really struggled when Lake Fu was playing tank. Now we're back to having Lake Fu on healer, and she ended up winning in weeks three and weeks four, putting their team ahead. Um, and getting them into this next week five. And that's one of the things that this roll swap has really helped them out on. And now they're going to have that same roll swap that, that Big Ding Energy has never played against yet. So while Big Ding Energy has been dominant and they are an awesome team, uh, this is going to be a really close week five, I would imagine. Now it's a best of five as opposed to the best of threes we've been seeing. And I think it's going to be a very exciting one. Uh, not safe for work from home. They get to watch this whole time and they're going to be able to see all the strategies that are brought up here. So while this is the time to bring out your strategies so you don't get eliminated, this is also a time that if you do think that you can get into the finals, you don't want to show all of your cards yet. But you might have to show all of your cards just to not get eliminated because both of these teams are probably closer than people think. Uh, I think right now everyone believes, I mean, people thought Big Thing Energy was just going to take the entire thing. Um, so I definitely think that the majority of people think Big Ding Energy are going to win, but I wouldn't say Little Rubies is out yet. When they did their roll swap back to having Lake Fu on healer, Trickster found that he was in a really good position as a tank, and we've also seen a lot coming out from Lashes, when Lashes is getting to play Orphea, and when Lashes is getting to play Gul'dan. So overall, I think that we're going to be seeing a really good game this week. Uh, and a good series of games this week, and I really do think it can go either way, um, no matter what I've seen in a lot of the comments saying, oh, Big Ding Energy is going to take it 3-0. I think this ga these games are going to be closer than people are thinking, so I'm very excited for this week. Uh, but let me know, are there certain teams you guys are rooting for? Uh, has it changed since previous seasons? Uh, is, maybe if you're rooting for Not Safe for Work from Home, uh, in this particular matchup between these two teams, who would you like to see Not Safe for Work from Home play against, and which one are you expecting to win this one love to hear it um feel free to throw those comments anywhere i've been reading some of the other ones and it is kind of fun to see so uh i'm still again i i love not safe for work from home's name i think that's hilarious but uh man i i'd really like to see little rubies just like reverse sweep this whole event where they started off down in uh the bottom area and i'd love to see them just reverse sweep the whole thing i think that would be really cool uh, but otherwise yeah let me know what you guys think and uh, are you guys excited for week five or are you just waiting for week six either way uh, i'm definitely excited to see how it goes <laughs>